Hello guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to create a new Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. So by the end of this video, you will be able to start developing Java Enterprise applications based on the Spring framework using one of the most popular Java IDEs, IntelliJ. Let me open IntelliJ IDEA on my computer. Okay, here we go, IntelliJ IDEA. Know that in order to create a new Spring Boot project, a kind of enterprise Java project, you need to have an IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition. As you can see here, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA 2025.1 Ultimate Edition. And I'm using the Chaya license, as you can see here. Okay, on the welcome screen of the IDE, click the new project button here. And on the left side, you can see uh, there are some options that let you choose a project type such as Java, Kotlin, Groovy, Marvel, Nakitai, Jakarta EE, Spring Boot. Here, to create a new Spring Boot project, you choose this generator, this project type on the left side. And by default, it will use the Spring Initializer to add this URL start.spring.io this is recommended and then uh, fill in the details for the new Spring Boot project ok let me enter my project name as my Spring Boot project and the default location and you can choose language here I use the default one is Java and the project type I choose Maven because I'm familiar with Maven if you are familiar with Gradle, you can choose Gradle. Okay, then enter the group ID. For example, net.codejava artifact. For example, Spring Boot App. Package name, net.codejava. Okay. You can uh, enter the information according to the project requirement. And by default, um, using JDK 24, you can choose another version of JDK here. And Java version is uh, 17 as the default one. I want to choose uh, 21. And the default packaging type is JA. You can choose JA or GUA. For a Spring Boot project, it is recommended to use the packaging type is JA. Okay, then click Next. Then the next screen. Let's uh, choose the Spring Boot version. By default, the latest and stable version of Spring Boot is recommended. As of April 2025, it is Spring Boot version 3.4.5, you see. And then you can choose uh, some dependencies required for your project. You can see uh, just many dependencies here. You can choose or search here. Uh, for example, search the dependencies for developing a web application. Here, uh, for a simple Spring, uh, Spring Boot uh, web application, I choose Spring Web Dependency. Okay, if you want to use uh, database, you can search for MySQL or database. Here, you can see various dependencies. Okay. So I choose only Spring Web to create a very simple Java web application based on the Spring framework and click the create button here. Very simple. And it is creating a new project very quick as you can see here. Here we go. My Spring Boot project it is an IntelliJ IDEA project using uh, Maven as you can see some generated code here java this is the main class that is the main entry to uh, our spring boot application using spring boot application annotation this is the main method uh, which starts uh, which runs the spring application okay and this is the application configuration file application properties by default it configures only the name of the application 
and it also generated a test class very simple like this uh, we can skip okay and this is a Maven dependency file that contains the project information and dependencies information you can see a Spring Boot Starter parent version 3.4.5 information about the project such as group ID, artifact ID, version, name and the dependencies section here you can add more dependencies uh, when needed here you can see Java version 21 and I use only the version the dependency for Spring Web so it shows Spring Bootstart the web here and uh, by default, Spring Boot Starter test is added. Okay, so this is a Maven uh, configuration file where you can configure your project information and dependencies. Okay, okay, and now let me create a new, very simple controller class. Right click here, new class here to uh, demo. Uh, run a very simple Spring Boot application in IntelliJ IDEA. My controller is a name of the new class. This is a REST API controller, so I use the REST controller annotation. Okay, this is a kind of Hello World Spring Boot REST API application and use the grand mapping to uh, implement the handler for the application at the path is greeting and then the handler method. It automatically suggests the code here, return hello world, hello Spring Boot. So this is a very simple uh, Spring REST API controller. It exposes an API at the path slash greeting and it returns hello Spring Boot. Okay, great. And now we can start the Spring Boot application here to uh, test the API out, right? So in the main class, you can click the play or run button next to the main method or next to the class here to run my Spring Boot main application. Okay, and the Spring Boot application is starting as you can see the Spring Boot logo in the console here and it says Tomcat started on port number 8080 with context path is last started my Spring Boot project application okay that means our Spring Boot application is up and running and ready to receive requests from clients okay and to test uh, the, this API out at this path we can open a new terminal right inside the IDE here and use the curl command to test it out curl and then localhost localhost port number 8080 slash then you can see it returns status uh, returns response hello spring boot let me use the flag v here to see the verbose of the request and response as you can see request here get slash greeting and response here yeah. response they does go to our successful and response body is a text hello submarine boot which is the result of the execution of this handler method greeting in the my controller class so you can see it's very simple to create a new submarine boot project in IntelliJ idea and also it's uh, very easy to run uh, the application and test it out right inside IntelliJ idea and uh, when done you can press the stop button here to stop to terminate the Spring application okay quit okay anytime you can click the new project button on the welcome page here and choose Spring Boot on the left here to create a new Spring Boot uh, project in IntelliJ idea fill in the details of the project and then choose the dependencies on the next page right okay okay so we have seen how easy it is to create a new spring boot project in intellij idea 
and how easy it is to uh, write code and run the Spring Boot application right inside the IDE, right? I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to support this channel. Like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.